Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. Don't think twice, it's all right. I did a video of me playing this song, um, so I'll put the link down below, uh, this wonderful Bob Dylan song. And I also did a short little video of how I do my two-finger picking, picking pattern. That looks basically like this. So, um, bass, D, bass, G, G, D, G, 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 D, G, G. And you start it rolling along and it just rolls along. And it's a really interesting little picking pattern. You only need two fingers and you're just going kind of, kind of back and forth. G, D, G, 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 D, G, G. So we take a look at that. And uh, so I'm going to play uh, one verse of this. And all you have to do is remember there's four more of them. So they're all the same. And it's in C. So I'm going to play a C, an open G, an A on the second fret, an F inversion. And we'll go over that. And a D that looks like this. After that, it's pretty easy. Let's see. Well, there ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. If you don't know by now. There ain't no use to sit and wonder why, babe. It don't matter anyhow. And the rooster crows at the break of dawn. Look out your window, and I'll be gone. You're the reason that I'm traveling on. Don't think twice, it's all right. All right, what do we got going on? G. D, G, 42, 34, 24. These are my gauges, and these are Steve RV Killer strings. You've heard me say that in the past. They're excellent. You buy them in packs of three. You don't have to worry about extras. They just come the way I like them. We are a 100% all donation channel. We thank you so much for all your support. Um, you are the only reason that I am able to do this in the mothership here. Thank you. Thank you. Your support has made this possible, and this is my way of giving back to you for your generosity. So, on to this song. So, the chords. Kind of went over them before, but C, and it's on the fifth fret, and it's a bar chord. B-A-R-R-E, not a bar like a place to go drinking. It's a bar chord. And you're just pressing your fingers across all three strings on the fifth fret. It also has an open G in it, has an A, and that's a bar chord on the second fret. So two, 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 and you put your finger all the way across. Then it has an F. And the way to go to the F, the F looks like this. So it looks like five, two, five, three, five. And you take that first finger and you kind of come up like a chess piece almost. You're coming diagonally here, like a bishop on chess. But what I want you to do is turn your finger up, turn your elbow up, and automatically you fall on that string. Come back and put your two fingers on that fifth fret. So you're here on A, elbow out, elbow back. That's how you would make that F. It's the easiest way I can explain it. So C, open, A, F, C, open, A, D, and D looks like this. It's two, zero, two. So it's kind of like these two fingers playing those outside strings. You have a C again, and then you have a C7. And the way to make a seven is to take your bar chord, wherever it is, and drop that high G string down two. 
So it would be, if it was an E7, it would be 997. If it was a D7, it would be 775. If it was a C7, like we have, it's 553. And I use my pinky like so. And it makes it really easy to go to F. So C7, 553. Then just take your pinky and move it and your first finger and move it and you're on F. And that's really all you need to know because it goes C. Well, C, C, G, G, A. Remember, elbow out, F, C, G, C, A, uh, G, A, D, G, C, C7. Now that sneaky trick to F. D. C. G. A. F. C. G. C. G. Well, it ain't no use in Turning on your light, babe. Elbow out. That light I've never known. And there ain't no use in turning on your light, babe. D, I'm on the dark side of the road. And there ain't nothing you could see seven do or say. F to try to make me change my D, mine and stay, C, but we never did G, too much A, talking anyway, F, C, G, C. Now, something if you wanted to, you could, you could walk up. And remember, we talked about guitars being ladders, the neck being a ladder, put the headstock on the grass and the body on the house. You walk up and down the frets as a ladder. You would, and, and this is a chance for me to talk about intervals. Each motion is an interval. Some intervals are two frets, some are one. So open two, four, five. You can use that, you know, at any time in lots of songs. Lots of country songs start like that. And, uh, you know, just remember your A to D, just pivot and swivel. A to F is a pivot and swivel. I like these pivots, pivots and swivels, and how to get to my chords. So enjoy this. Have fun. Check out the companion video. The links are down below. Lots more Bob Dylan links down below. So look at all that stuff. And uh, the pattern, it's really kind of easy to get. It might take you a little longer. Some people take longer than others. So uh, give that a go. And thank you so much for everything. We only exist because of your generous support. PayPal and Square links are down below. Check that out. Also, lots of things in the show notes. So take a look at all of that stuff. You know, Steve RV strings, links, stuff like that. So give that a go. Thank you so much for everything. Like I said, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Thank you.